Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Thea, The Awakening. You finally find what you have... You, you, you finally find what must have been the grove from the map, although there is little left but some stones and dirt here. And yet, among the rubble stands a single tree, still green and thriving despite it all. When you approach, the tree opens its eyes and stares at you. Creepy. A tree with eyes, attack it before it gets you. Five. Dangerous choice. Ooh. Hi there, we're searching for an elf. The tree blinks at you several times before moving its branches around as if it was shifting in its place. Slowly it begins talking. Who is this elf thing you speak of and how long is long ago? An aeon, too? Ah, well, an elf is kind of like a human but with pointy ears. <laughs> and real pretty. I see, the children of Thea you mean. Pretty young things, to be sure. In old days there used to be many in my grove. The tree looks around as if for the first time, and you see its face twisting and its eyes growing larger. My grove, where's my grove? Where are all my charges? What have you done with them? He has been cursed with a hundred years of darkness. Your grove must have perished during that time. Oh, right, my apologies. Yes, that wretched cold night. It was rather unpleasant. Still, it was not it. It was a brother of mine. He took my herd. Hmm, I tell you what, I will tell you all about the elven child you speak of, the one seeking to cure us from darkness, but only if you hunt down and kill my brother and bring me the remains of his flock. You fleshy creatures oft call us leshy, demons, you say we are, and in all fairness that description is wise. We are the guardians of the forest, sons of the silver mother, and shepherds. My brother is thus like me, a leshy, but he is also a thieving wretch. He stole a flock, my flock from underneath me. Mad I am, he said, mad and corrupted by the dark. Only because I did not think as he did, I did not seek to kill the so-called creatures of the dark. Ah, uh, no matter. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Sounds good. I have what you seek right here. The tree crackles, and the earth begins beneath it, shakes a bit, and from the roots it brings out an elf. The elf is covered in soil and motionless, but he still breathes. This young man refused my pleas also, but we seem to have reached an impasse. He will not die. And yet I am not inclined to let him go. But if you do the deed, I shall free him. Okay. <laughs> That's fine with me. How splendid. I have cast a spell upon you that will guide you to the traitor's hideout. Do watch yourselves. He is likely to have many allies now. Off you go. Okay, so it's like, you know, 18 turns away because of our movement speed in this wretched place. Okay, production's complete. Next turn. Okay. In the midst of your day's work, a vision appears in all of your minds at once. You see a calmly lake, as if untouched by any darkness. In the middle of the lake stands a lone figure beckoning you to join her. You soon know you are standing in the presence of Mother Earth, Mokosh herself. Isn't that supposed to be like me, I thought? She smiles at you, a motherly warm smile that feels so safe and calm. And she opens the palm of her hand and you see the ruins of some grand buildings. You know instantly where it is and how important it is that you go there. Okay. A small group of refugees is seen traveling near your village. People look scared and worn out, but they do have some decent looking fighters with them. An older man walks up to you to speak. We are not looking for trouble, nor do we seek anything from your village. We would have chosen a path more remote, but this one seemed easier, yeah, through the frickin' frigid tundra. Our home was taken by an orcish clan, and we now travel south to seek our fortunes elsewhere. Right, but you have some fighters. Don't you want to win back your home? Well, we tried to fight, but failed. Should be told, we stayed for too long. But you know what? These brutes, they killed a bunch of our people and took much of our goods, so if you want to try and beat them, be our guests. We have had a sizable lumber mill and a small quarry, so not only will you avenge our people, you will also be rewarded. Our pleasure. The road will be lighter knowing revenge may be at hand. So why don't you stay with us instead of going south? We have a strong village. We're growing together. Uh, we would make a real force to be reckoned with. Or, okay, well, bye. Sneak up the camps to the supplies. Actually, it seems like you have some good stuff on you that we want. I'm going to try this one. Let's just see if we can re recruit them. It could... I mean, this could be horrible because it's just four villagers in our town. Well, I seek to find my roots and return to a homeland long forgotten, but I cannot speak for all my people. Speak to them. If they want, I will not stand in their way. Our village has lasted for a hundred years under the protection of the gods, and now it is our time to thrive. Join us, stand up to the orcs, and anyone else who tries to beat us. You've started a challenge with nine scavengers. Oh, that sucks. Okay, this is a bad idea. I'm glad I gave him that armor, but um, we're screwed. We can confuse. Opponents must... Okay, opponents most recently played offensive card loses his attack 
If the card level is higher than Confuse, a card will play it earlier. Okay, so we've we've seen Confuse. Counter tactic. Get closer. We have no defenses. No shields. What's this button do? Retreat? Yield? Just let everyone die? What is that thing? Poison damage. Poison damage effect doubles when attacking an already wounded enemy. I gotta put out the guy with the most HP. This is this is this is rough. Hopefully they're like super 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 weak. They seem to be about the strength of bees or wasps or something. You just gotta play out. You gotta get as many units on the field as possible. I can't. I can't do attack. I just have to get closer. That's all I can really do. What is that? Leech. Leeching damage causes the attacker to gain that much life. No, there's no tactics that can be employed here. And now you're just going to play out a huge army of dudes that are going to wreck everything. Everyone's going to die. Damn it. I didn't think I was going to have to attack them. I know I saw the this, this three skulls, but it says social. It's supposed to be like a... Oh, oh. <laughs> we're talking at them, apparently. <laughs> it's a social battle. <laughs> that is not at all what I expected. That is hilarious. Okay, now I know what to expect for the future. Okay, so Jaromira is gonna fall, apparently. We're gonna probably lose this one as well. So we're down to two guys, and they've still got four? We've got 22 HP on deck. They don't do that much damage. Maybe we can eke it out, but... I sure hope they don't actually take, like, full-on actual damage. If they end up being, like, near death after this engagement... Okay, hit hit, and you'll talk someone out. He'll do three, you'll survive, then you'll get to do your hit. Nice. And then there was one. Alright. Wow, I think we're going to eke it out. Alright, let's find out. Do we actually end up with, uh... Okay. So we're at the bottom of this thing. You've won the challenge. At first, people shake their heads and murmur. Most turn away from you and start preparing for the road, but one mother comes up with her twins. I will not stay. I must go where my forefathers take me, but my children are too small to survive the road and its perils. Please take them in. Okay, well, sure. Four children. You s seeing you take in the twins, a couple more parents leave their kids in your care. You've gained four kids. Okay. Hey, that's fine. Even I just want more people! More people and stuff. Abilities have improved. Alright, now here's the, the important question. Uh, we need to go to our house, and we need to go and check out our people. Okay, they have full HP. Okay, so, okay. A, a social challenge is not nearly as terrifying as I thought it would be. Um... Oh, look at that. We can actually move two tiles. That's awesome. That's so rare for me. Okay, so Stoy Stoja. Stoya. Did you end up producing that, um... Yeah, we, we made the armor. And I not I didn't actually check to see if it gave us the, uh, the research. I assume that it did. Can we do some, some more... 
crafting. Looks like we can eke out one more. Use the cheap string as catalyst. It's three armor. I want to make the, the better stuff, but hey, you know what? For 40 research... Might as well. Wait a minute, that one costs even more. And it didn't provide any tangible benefit. Oh, okay. Plain shirt. Leather shirt. I guess that the advantage to spending more crafting on it is that you get more research. Yep. That's what we're effectively paying for. Okay. Sure. We'll make that, and we'll stop making a little bit of meat stew. We're kind of low on meat anyway. He's knocking out tons of this stuff every turn. Oh, that's a waste. Dobromila is only doing five per turn? What? Why? Dobromila, what the hell? Why are you working on this? You should be... you should be crafting. I must have messed it up. Dobromila, you go back to that. There we go. 80 per turn. So we're gonna knock out tons of this stuff. Four batches of vegetable stew type stuff every turn. Everyone's working. Okay. We're good. Once more, you witness a green grove, thriving despite any logic. It is small, barely more than a garden, but this one is full of life and beauty. There are fruit trees blooming with pink flowers. There is a sweet smell of tree sap in the air. The largest tree stands in the center and spreads its branches in a welcoming gesture. Hello. Welcome, friends. I see a frown upon your foreheads and a burden on your hearts. I smell the dark stench of my poor brother smeared all over you. What has he devised now? Did he ask for the lifeless carcass of me and my flock so that he may regrow his twisted grove? And pray, what has he promised you as your reward? Your brother holds the answer to our quest. We seek to cure Thea of the darkness and to restore order. That wretched traitor, our mother tree was brutally butchered. He holds the key to her salvation, and yet he withholds it from those who can help. Bah. His madness has gone beyond mercy. Alas, he is a strong demon, old, older than you can imagine, fleshling. So I propose a ruse. It is these three silver shards that he truly covets. Take some wood and these shards and trick him into believing we are gone. Well, I will not lie. Convincing him will not be an easy task. The only guarantee you have is to kill me and my kin. You're welcome to try, but I warn you, I will not forfeit my flock, not even for the mother tree. Yeah, it's a three star, or three, three, uh... I'm gonna, I, this guy sounds more honest, really. Let's trick him. Good, I had a feeling your hearts are in the right place. Here, have the shards and the wood, and since you choose chose not to kill us, I will use what little power I have to bless you. This way... You will have a better chance to fool my brother. Farewell, fleshlings, and may the mother's blessing follow you wherever you go. So we've gained some ancient wood, extremely rare. We've also gained some cosmic tree shards. And everyone got enchanted. Well, not everyone. Blessing of strength adds strength for a set number of turns. So plus 20 turns, I assume. And blessing of speech. So everyone got just a little bit better at stuff. Speech. Attractiveness. Well, thank you. What did that say at the end? Just how cool someone seemed. Alright, so you want me to go back to this tree now? Alright, I can do that. Uh, what kind of resources do we have nearby? Some fish. I haven't actually done fish. Might as well make camp here. If we were to gather fish, it's uh, 160 production. Wow. I don't want to sit around that long. You know what would be cool is if you could have them work together. I'm pretty sure... Well, for argument's sake, let's just do, like, three batches of fish. And have enough gathering to do, like, 160 production and just see what happens. 
So that's 120. That's 200 production. And it's saying three turns. What's this button do? What does that button do? I do not know. That's a lot of vegetable stew that we just made. And production's complete, so yeah, we gained a ton of research from having produced that. I like it. <clears throat> we need to be crafting as much just random crap as we can. What happens now if I go into my inventory and I just disassemble it again? Can I just remake it over and over again to gain experience? Where was it? It was this leather shirt. Well, first off, let's see if anyone actually needs to equip it. I think I can actually do that from right here. Okay. So leather shirt. Yeah, we should we should give people shirts and stuff before we just try to destroy it all. I have a bone crusher, thirteen damage. can make one more item. Let's go ahead and do it. I want to see... Did you guys gather any food? Any fish? No. So you can't consolidate jobs or overdo it. They're all just working on their own little chain. We don't actually care about the fish. How much, how much actual fish does that provide? 20... units of fish? It just takes time. I also have some research to do. So, I need to research some more construction, I think. So that we can get some more stuff being made automatically. This will increase babies from time to time apart from the expected vegetables. So vegetables we already make a ton of. We're very good at making vegetables. Um, building more wells for randomly generated materials could be cool. Better at crafting is maybe nice, but I don't think we can actually build that. Um, Be able to craft using this recipe here. So vegetables and meat. We don't have that. Being able to just make armor and stuff doesn't really appeal to me. Um, what's it going to take for us to get the... So we can use wood and vegetables and wood to make cabbage fields, but that just gives us more cabbage. We don't need cabbage. It's just wood and wood to make a herbalist hut. Wood, 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 wood. It doesn't really matter to me. Smithy, I don't exactly... It just increases crafting skill. I don't know by how much. Wood, 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 wood. Well, let's go ahead and do that, because I, I guess that's good. Yeah, sure, why not? So we'll go back. Having just more crafting all the time seems pretty solid. So if we were to construct... A smithy. Oh, you know what? You could probably have more than one. I bet it just increases crafting skill by, like, one. Each building probably does it. Crafting bonus plus one. Yeah. Oh, what if we use different materials? Would it be even better? We can use bones. I don't have enough of these two materials to actually do it. I've got iron, steel, and mithril, but... Still, plus one... That seems pretty solid. Gotta get up to that 10 building limit as well, right? And it looks like we may have picked up more armor. Or did I, did I already equip that? I might have. I 
Okay. All right, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.